Hey guys, today I'm going to go over how to beat Bravely Second's final boss. Spoilers obviously ensue. Alright, so you've saved Pope Anyas and you finished off Anna. All that's left is to traverse the Celestial Realm, save Vega, and destroy Providence. Compared to the final boss of Bravely Default, this boss is relatively easy. There's just a few things you gotta be careful of and you'll do fine. You should also know that although there is a short break between his two forms, you will not be able to restock on any items here, so make sure you're ready before going in in the first place. For Providence's first form, this is a test of manageability. You have to be able to have control over the situation and control the team. Providence has 100,000 HP on normal difficulty during this form and is weak to wind attacks. For attacks, Providence has a few different things he can do. First off is Star of Destruction, dealing non-elemental damage to the entire party, followed by 7 stars, which is simply 7 rain-like hits of light-based magic. These can hit quite hard, so either default as much as you can, or get that magic defense up. Pawn of Fate is where that management really starts kicking in. Providence will inflict your entire team with Doom, a status ailment that cannot be cured and will kill a party member when the timer above their head reaches zero going down one each turn. The timers will be different above everyone, so use this to your advantage to figure out who will be down next and who can get them back up. If you have completed the Yokai subquest, you can also use Status Barrier to block this attack. Re-Raise is also useful since it will just get people back up after they go down. I'd recommend a Mist form so that it lingers. But remember, Providence will still be attacking you while Pontifate is active, so be wary of that as he can just as likely kill you as soon as you re-raise. Providence has one last trick up his sleeve though. When he uses Mandate of Heaven, one specific party member will be forced to strike down another party member. Now this may sound bad, but all you need to do to satisfy him is to use a normal attack on the correctly targeted ally with the right person. This is far more preferable to the alternative, which is in two turns Providence will hit your entire team for max damage no matter what. Once you knock him down to half health, Providence will feed on Vega's despair to heal himself back to full, but this will only occur once and won't require any other fight mechanic to stop it. This moment will happen regardless of your actions, so you won't be able to burn him down on the first go. After the heal, however, burning his HP should be your goal. At low health, Providence will activate Mandate of Heaven again, but this time it has a different condition. Defeat him in two turns, or die. This is now a DPS race to finish him off in two turns, or else you will lose the fight and have to restart. Unfortunately, in my opinion, you can use Calm to completely negate his Divine Punishment move should you fail to kill him. Once you finish him off, the party will return to the chapel, but it's not over yet. Heal up and get ready for part two. It's Illuminati time. All right, with that joke out of the way, let's get on to the second half of this fight. So Providence's true form has been revealed to be the all-seeing eye, but believe it or not, this form is actually easier than the first. Let's go over what Providence can do now. This fight involves three bodies, Providence AA, the main body, as well as B and AB, the hands that accompany it. The main body has 150,000 HP on normal difficulty again, while each of the hands have 9,999 HP, and all of them are weak to dark attacks. This form has about the same amount of commands, but all of which are new. He can use Ruin to deal magic damage to the party, or Salvation as a physical substitute. I don't think I've ever seen a boss spam Dispel as much as this one though. Holding on to lots of buffs may not be a good idea here. He also has Ruin or Salvation question mark, which empowers his hands in proportion to his defense. One of the boss's interesting mechanics is New World Order, in which he will use Bravely Second to pause time at any point and attack the whole party. Be careful of this if the team is falling low on health. Also be aware that if you choose to kill the hands, they will each respawn with a damaging attack to the party in a few turns. I like to keep a Benediction Mist over the team myself, but again you'll have to replace it each time the spell is used. As for damage, I always love Phoenix Striking, but there's lots of options on how to approach this part. Once you lower his health to a certain point again, there'll be another scripted event like in the first form. Now a lot of people might be worried about this part, and to avoid direct spoilers because it's a really cool moment, I'll just say this. Go with it. Everything will be alright, I promise. 
After this event, Providence will be back at full health because plot, but now it's just a fight to the finish. Burn him down. After that, that's it. You're done. Now it wasn't so bad, was it? I hope this guide was helpful to you. I have some other boss guides available on this channel already. But if there's one I didn't cover that you're having trouble with, or if you have any other requests for future videos, feel free to leave me a comment down below. Psych and the vibe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.